Today we're going to talk about hormones. I know some of you guys are just thinking, no, hormones? What are you talking about? I'm not talking about, you know, some of the hormones that make ladies go crazy. Like, I just ate my bitch cake and I'm so good. Not hormones like that, going out of whack. But, I mean, hormones regulate our bodies. Hormones make us part of what we are. Hormones make us, me a man, and all you other guys men, and all you other women, and then you women, women, because you have estrogen, and I have a lot of testosterone. That's why it makes me such more of a manly man. And then you people that are in between, you got to go get, that's another subject. <laughs> Let me not even go in that ballpark. <laughs> but anyways, hormones would pretty much make the body run beautifully and get you chugging. Well, with fasting, we want to promote human growth hormones. Say it with me. Human growth hormones. HGH. This is the stuff that makes you full natty bra <laughs> for all you full natty lovers. But anyways, this is the stuff that helps you get stronger. This is the stuff that makes you feel better, look better, all that stuff. It makes your cells in your body repair better. And the more our cells repair, the more our body can repair more. The more we can feel better after a workout, the more that our muscle does not break down as much. Pretty much with fasting, fasting allows our body to go into a catabolic state. And what a catabolic state means is tissue breakdown without promoting inflammatory conditions. This enables the resources to eliminate the older damaged cells and replace them with stronger cellular components. So basically, it makes it so we can recycle. Recycle everything much faster. When we are, normally our bodies, especially if you're an obese person, it takes your body a slow process of recycling everything. So you're like going like that and even somebody that's not morbidly obese if you still have body fat on you you're going at a slow rate compared to somebody that uses intermediate fasting in the right way this is where we start controlling the hormones and making them work for us our goal with intermediate fasting and the fast is to make the hormones work for us make the hormones use the fat that we have for energy and also make it so it makes so the whole body works way faster and way more efficient. So I'm going to use the analogy of a car a lot of the time because it's really easier for people to understand it when you talk about a car. But it makes it so our body as a machine keeps working way better. We churn out those good results and you get bigger and you get stronger. It's the difference between having little puny arms and then you're like, oh, I just got to work it out. Oh, I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm feeling great. Makes that beard come in even faster, even stronger. Makes you look even younger than what you are. So, ladies, if you want to look younger, I'm not saying fasting is the only way, but if you combine a long period of fasting with working out and eating good, because it's all about calories in, calories out. Always remember that. No matter what eating windows you have, if you put in more than your maintenance and you're not working out, you might even gain some weight. If you put less than your maintenance, a lot less than your maintenance, and you're not working out, you still might gain some weight. So keep all of that in mind. Keep fasting. And remember, fasting helps promote healthy hormones. So get those healthy hormones. Get that HGH in. And get stronger. There's a reason why all those people get the synthetic stuff because it makes it so you heal and repair better. So why go through all the mess of destroying your body with synthetic when if you fast the right way with 16 hours or more along with working out and eating good, you turn yourself into a fat burning, repairing your body, ageless wonder.